Would you be open to somebody teaching you different things in the bedroom? Because yes. you'd obviously like she wasn't doing whatever. Yeah. What would what would be your limit? What's something that you cannot do in the bedroom? Stay away from my bum bum. What is more important in a relationship, sex or money? <sighs> sex, my friend. Yeah. I'm gonna say sex. Yeah. I'm gonna say sex. Yeah. I don't think I'd be with somebody who has like a small dick and, and got big money. That's mm -mm, that's a no no baby. I can't. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Yeah. The whole like sugar daddy thing and you sleep with him and it gives you. Uh, Lord, give me strength. I can't. Mm. No, 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 no. Amen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Continue. If, if you can't satisfy me in bed, it's a bit long, it's a bit long still, it's a bit long. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, yeah. I would say sex is more important because, mm -hmm. in terms of a real relationship, yeah. it needs to be. Yeah. It needs to be down, do you know what I mean? But if like she's splashing you in like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Even all of those... Even if it's Louis Vuitton, I can still knock her. <laughs> I can still do the thing if it's Louis Vuitton. You can do it in Louis Vuitton, in Gucci. <laughs> you can do it inside Gucci. <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem. It's not okay. a problem. It's very important. Sex is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Let's not even talk about the physical. It's very powerful because you connect with the other person in On a, a certain way. level. Ooh. You can go there and you can buy whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you're in your if you're digging it in the bedroom, <laughs> slam dunk, <laughs> Michael Jordan, <laughs> 23. Slam then again, inside. then again. What do you mean? Uh, then there's again? women who <laughs> now there's women who date broke men. You know, he's really good in bed, mm -hmm. but he doesn't do anything for me. He just does nothing. He just lays there and does nothing. Mm. Nah, the sex is is the Maggie in the Maggie. sauce. If there's no attraction, First off, because sex it. can also be interpreted as That's attraction. Mm. As if I find you attractive in that way, mm -hmm. then relationships sorted, man. Mm. You can go for a walk in the park you know and I mean? have fun. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's rice at home. There's rice at home. Rice at home. Go for a walk in the park. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's sorted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, would you ever date or marry outside of your faith? Yes, I would. Okay. As long as there's understanding. So are you religious then? I am. Oh. Faith and religion, yeah. though they go together, they're separate. One can have a lot of faith and one could be religious but have no faith. Mm. Do you understand? Or my journey and what I do religiously is personal. Mm -hmm. so, so you're not going to try to push it on whoever you're dating? No, I'm not right, going to. Okay. Obviously, I'd get her clued up on what she needs to know about myself, either if it's dietary requirements. Oh, OK, right, certain, got you, got you. you know, Are you Muslim? Yes, I am. I thought so. Thank you to God. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you yeah. know what the funniest thing is? What's that? <laughs> my dad's Muslim. Oh, your dad's Muslim? Yeah. Oh, OK, that's cool. And I used to practice a religion, but obviously don't do it anymore. Um, I grew up, my mum's Catholic, do you understand? So, yeah. Mine too. <laughs> so, I went to church. Okay. Yeah. I went to church and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so I know a bit about it. Well, I know, I know yeah. quite a lot about it. Me too. And um, for example, I marry a Christian mm -hmm. and she says, I'm going to church on Sunday. Yeah. Go. Be my guest. Go. I'll, oh, I'll okay. go with you if you want. You mm -hmm. know? Well, the reason why I'm not really into religion anymore is because obviously when I was growing up, I was pointed this picture of, you know, religious people do this, this and this, and they follow this from the Bible. But when you obviously grow up and, you know, people are telling you this is how you're meant to behave, but they themselves aren't behaving in the way that they're telling you to, that really, like, really messed up with my mind because I thought some things in religion mm -hmm. I don't agree with. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether it's Islam or Christianity it's or whatever, mm -hmm. it's just across the board. It's very misogynistic, you know, very old school, you know, it's very outdated. So I kind of understand that those rules may have applied to people during those times, during those eras, but times have changed now. Mm -hmm. But it's like a lot of those things are still happening. Okay, when did you lose your virginity and how did it happen? <laughs> how? <laughs> you lot are trying to kill me. You lot are trying to kill me. All right, bring about flashbacks. Right, um, I was 16. And it was my first boyfriend at the time. Okay. Um, and I was 
pretty much living alone, living in a hostel. I think we went out like on a date, cinema date. He asked me out um, and I went back to my quote unquote, quote unquote place. Um, yeah, bada bing, bada boom. I don't remember. And I have that thing where I don't usually remember the first time I meet somebody or the first time I have a conversation with somebody. And it's really weird. Mm, you're gonna remember this one, boy. Uh -uh. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, what about you? Pass. Yeah? <laughs> um, when did I lose it? Mm. Yeah, 16. Okay. 17, mm. actually. 17. Okay, around the same time then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The person was older than me, mm. and then I tried to act like I'd done everything before. I nearly broke my back <laughs> in the process. But that's you did what? Story. I nearly broke my back in the process, man. I tried to do all that, you know. <laughs> I'm dead. Gymnastics yeah. and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, when, when you're a guy and you know the time is coming for you to <laughs> not pop the cherry, yeah. but open the ice cream, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's, Give it there's preparation, there's press-ups and that involved, <gasps> there's stretching. Okay, leading off of that, would you be open to somebody teaching you different things in the bedroom? Because yes. she said obviously like she wasn't doing whatever. Yeah. What would, what would be your limit? What's something that you cannot do in the bedroom? Stay away from my bum bum. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay <laughs> from a Nah, no. <laughs> Stay there. part of the uh, eat eat the shit like groceries. Eat the booty like groceries, gang. I just maybe tense up a little bit still. Um, I don't eat shit. What do you mean? No, eat the booty like groceries. Eat eat the booty like eat groceries. Ass. What's that? What does that mean? <laughs> Could you elaborate, please? No, like have you not heard that phrase? No. What like, does that mean? Licking bum. Like, Licking like, bum. Yeah. Eating <laughs> 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 yash, no? Eating yash. All I'll say is, in terms of sexual experiences, mm. the closer you are to the person, mm. or the <clears throat> however much you know them, mm. things happen, innit? Number one, because you know their hygiene habits. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. yeah. I think mean, that's a big thing as well, yeah. Some people will be doing all sorts of musty stuff. With anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, they go in that club. Mm. They'll be looking at you, they'll be saying yes. I you look scrumptious. Mm. Don't know that that girl's been sitting in her own mm. fart juices for <laughs> oh however God. long. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you know the girl, you know she showers twice a day, you know mm. she's clean. Mm. You, know, you can do whatever Jamal you like, Papa. my friend. Just yeah. stay away from my bum bum. Okay. That's all. Ah. My own bum bum, I don't want it. <clears> Just stay away from my bum bum. Okay. All right. Cute. Yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Yeah. I fell down the train thingy. You know the gap between the train and the platform? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, how skinny must you have been to fall between the gap between the train? It's not even that. It's like the gap is big, isn't it? No, it's not. If you've ever been to East Coast Station, I don't know how it is now. When I was in school, yeah. the gap was a good, like, okay, let's not exaggerate. It wasn't a metre, but it was. I don't know how long a meter is, but boy, you must have, you, you must have been hell of skinny to. Yes, when I was in school, I was very slim. I was a very active youth. No, but to fit through the. No, I'm not saying, okay, wait, okay. let me tell my story. All right, I'm sorry. So, obviously, I was walking now, and mm. I, was, I was on my phone, I think. I was talking, I was like, uh, ha, 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 mm -hmm. one leg just went all the way down. Oh, oh shit. But it touched the, f luckily, yeah, I was tall enough, um, I am tall enough to touch the floor. Oh, so, uh, so okay. I was literally there yeah. with, imagine, some of the best looking girls in school mm. were all standing in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> that day, I cannot take it out of my mind. <laughs> Okay. You was it was the most embarrassing. Oh my one. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so back to me being seven. I think I was around like seventeen, eighteen now when I was mm -hmm. living in the hostel. Okay. And it was like a. It's like okay. So imagine, did you go uni? Uh, yes, I did. So imagine like living in obviously living in the halls, yeah. Yeah. Um, you've got the key to your door. Right. So what happened was I was inside my room, and for some reason I decided to go to the toilet, but I don't know why I forgot my key. So now I'm like, oh, you know, it's all right. I'll just, I don't know why, it just literally skipped my mind. So I go to the toilet, and then as I finish the toilet and I go back to my room, I realise it's locked. Now, I guess I kind of missed out that it was like midnight, and oh. I wasn't really wearing anything. Um, so obviously when I went to the toilet, I'm naked, and I have nothing on. Now obviously I'm standing outside my door, my key's inside, I can't get inside. And the only way that I'm gonna do it is if I go all the way downstairs to reception to ask the, per the person on the night shift for a key. And it was a guy. 
And in this place, they have CCTV cameras. <clears throat> and the room that I was in, it was literally right by the, the, the camera. Wow. So, so, and, and the hallway, I remember, was so long. Um, so I literally had no option but to literally just shield myself. I just literally just walk down and hope nobody else comes out of their room to, I don't know, do whatever. It was the most embarrassing thing ever because I thought, oh my God, this guy's watching me walk through the fucking place. CCTV. And yeah. Do you have a sexual fantasy or <clears throat> fetish? I just, what are, you trying to, what are you trying to do to me? Um, basically, right? Um... <laughs> okay, so, my fantasy, well, I'll just say my fetish because my fantasy is a bit wild. Um, my fetish is probably like, it's just kind of like standard shit. Just like being strangled or choked. Not strangled, choked. Sorry, I'm not going to say strangled. Choked. Choked. Yeah. How would the choking take place? What kind of choking? <laughs> what kind of choking? With your hands or yeah, with, with the like hands. instruments How the fuck of choking? Choke a lady? Well, obviously, like in yeah. a, a fetishizing um, way, huh? Choking instruments. Choking I don't know what they call them. Like um, like Damn. a garrot, like um. A gar what's that? <laughs> Was well, it, like a, is it like a choked, leash? You know. Yeah, like a leash uh, or something, or a cord, or. Oh, that's kind of sexy. But um, no, I've not really, I've not, I've never really kind of thought of that. That's why I didn't know. But you've got to do it right though, because some people try to choke you out, kind of stop you breathing. <laughs> it's like, well, okay, just move it down here. You're gonna do it like that, and mm, that's it. It's fine. Ooh, have you never, my, have you never done it? My spirit. <laughs> um, so what about you? What's your fantasy or fetish? Fetish or fantasy? Um, Either or, or both. Mm. I don't know. You don't lick toes and all that. Pardon? You don't lick toes and... No, toes belong on the floor. Um, <laughs> no, you know one thing, I like, and it's very old school, it's very culture as well. I love waist beads. <gasps> I love waist beads. I was just about to buy this. It's very, it's How very... How is that? <clears throat> oh, is it? It's very cultural as well, like, yeah. yeah. But it's, I, I, I like waist beads. Where I'm from, waist beads are kind of a big thing. Yeah, yeah, me too, though. But is there not like something that you would want to do, like if you were given the option to do it? Um, to be honest, like, no, without yeah. sounding crass, I've done everything I want to do. Uh-uh, just so. So yeah. done through some and everything? Huh? Uh, no, I don't do free, so I don't share. Oh, oh you're I don't selfish. Share. Mm. I don't share. Clean. Another person's saliva is enough, and then I drink <laughs> somebody else inside. That's Are you for real? Yeah, what man. if two like really sexy women came and they said, right, come on, let's put it on you. You're going to be like, uh. If the situation comes upon me, right. And then two of the most beautiful women alive mm. decide to come <coughs> all the way to Bexley Heath <laughs> and say, listen, we're going to stick it on you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> then, you know, who am I? I'm You're just a human confused. being. Coming towards each other. Ten. You're a ten. Nah, babe, it's a nah. Ten. Give you a ten. Today I probably like give myself maybe a four. No, no, no. Just no, like no, upgrade. No, no, not even. You, what? No, you, so. no, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like a ten. Oh no, not you. I like yeah. teeth though. It's cool. I know I got the chipped teeth. Yeah. I love it. What can I do? I like fucked up teeth. Like Sorry? semi fucked up teeth. I don't like all the way. Do you call my teeth fucked up? No, I know. It's so. It's so. Um, I like that he's weird, just like I'm weird, like he we kind of bounce off of each other. Um, and it's not like forced conversation. You're sitting there thinking, oh, what do I say, what do I say? Just kind of like floating, just kind of, you know. It's it was like the same thing. It was just vibes, like it was cool. I like the fact that she's open, but she's mm. able to have an intelligent conversation. Mm. She's concerned oh, intelligent. certain okay. things. Mm. So, but she's also fun. I can tell that she's bubbly, mm. et cetera, et cetera. So. Mm. I know, don't beg it. Don't beg it. Mm -mm. No, I'm joking, yeah. Mm. Well, potentially, I don't know, it depends how you feel anyway. Mm -hmm. So I ain't trying to force shit, but. Yeah, yeah, let's stay in touch, let's stay in touch, mm. stay in touch, let's stay in touch. Come okay. On. I have genuinely watched porn. Like, not those over-exaggerated ones, but like those poems that were like, 
teach you a few moves before you try it. I'm that kind of person. 